Yo, I got, I got my camera back. Not broke now. I'm not gonna break this one. I mean, I say that, but I probably, I hopefully won't. We're gonna talk about the first time I got a tooth taken out. The first and only time. Fuck me, it was scary. So as any other kid, uh, you know, you go to the dentist and you're expecting for someone to come up to you with a fucking knife and start scraping inside your mouth, which is pretty much what they do, to be fair. I used to hate it. Well, to be fair, there was one positive about going to the dentist, which th th that positive isn't there anymore. It's the fact that the person that was in my mouth was super hot. It was this super hot Asian chick who was just like really nice looking and I'm like 14, super hormonal. And she's like going into my mouth and doing things. I'm just like, you're really hot. That smell when you go into the dentist will forever haunt me. It's just horrible. You go in there, it smells just like unhappiness. It's like rubber gloves and fucking toothpaste. I just hate it. Like, it's the worst thing is when, like, you're lent back in this chair, this really horrible chair, and you're, like, elevated at a 45 degree angle like this. The guy, like, so it's now an old man at my dentist, okay? Not a hot woman, so I don't like being elevated 45 degrees and have him pretty much grapple me. But I'm sat here on a 45 degree angle like this, and then this old man is putting his fucking horrible fingers. I don't know what he does with those fingers. What if he just like sticks us up his arse at night and then doesn't wash it? It's fucking disgusting. I'm sat here on a 45 degree elevated angle, he's got his fingers in my mouth, and he starts asking me questions as if I could actually fucking understand. Like, can you... Can I speak to you right now? Why are you asking me questions? Your whole fucking fist, you were trying to fist my mouth. How am I gonna answer your fucking questions? You're asking me, oh, how's your day been today? And I'm just sat here like. <laughs> Why do they do this? This is like when you go out to a restaurant and you're eating food and when you just get that one huge mouthful, you know when you sat there and you're like, oh, I'll just take like little bites. Little bites, and you're feeling very fucking adventurous. You're like, okay, I'm gonna take this one big ass cut. Boom! As soon as that's in your mouth, how's is, is everything okay with your food, sir? And I'm just like, Ugh, fuck, fucking people. The first time I got my tooth out wasn't actually that much of a bad experience. I just have some memorable stories about it. So I get to the hospital, didn't do it in the dentist. I refused to get that tooth taken out unless I was put to fucking sleep. So we get to the hospital, go through the doors. Low-key, shitting myself, get in the dentist chair, and there's like five fucking medical people around me all wearing masks and all sorts of shit, and I'm like, yo, my mouth isn't that dirty. So anyway, I sit down in this chair, 45 degree elevated angle, and then they're like, okay, so we're going to put the mask on you now, and it's going to put you to sleep, and I was like, wait, 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 can I smell it first? It's fucking, it's going to knock you out as soon as you smell it, you're retard. Because basically I wanted to smell what it smelled like. Because they were like, oh, it's strawberry gas. And I'm like, ooh, let me smell it. So I'm like, get this fucking mask. Place it on my face. I'm like, ooh, can't wait to smell it. I was such a retard as a kid. Like, what the fuck was that about? I always feel like you should have a trusted human being in your life that stays in the room to make sure that they do not molest you as you're sleeping. Like, who knows? These five, four, five fucking paramedic people could all have a cult and they might all be paedophiles. What if I was molested as a child and I wouldn't even fucking know? I would just go through my whole entire life at the back of my head thinking, you know what? I secretly like to be fucked up the arsehole by paramedics, but I wouldn't even know how because no one was in the room to fucking witness it. After the surgery went down, I woke up and I was in a wheelchair. Instantly shit myself, fucking paralyzed. Something's done something to my mouth, I'm paralyzed. What the fuck? I'm in this wheelchair. I can't actually move my body because I'm just waking up and I've done the fucking... The sleeping gas is still effective in my head, and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Calm myself down, realize I'm not paralyzed. Get out of the hospital, and I'm walking towards the car to my mum's car. My mum's like, oh, gonna buy you a Simpsons magazine. Yo, did anyone else used to get to the Simpsons magazines when you were a kid? It was like fucking 50 pages of a Simpsons comic book. Oh my god. But as I was approaching my mum's car, I was like, oh, I wonder what my mouth looks like. Checked in the wind mirror. Fucking, there's a hole in my mouth. It fucking freaked me out. Then I put my tongue where it was, and my tongue could go in the hole. I was like, <laughs> Uh, bear in mind, when this happened, I was about 11, 12. So it was still my baby teeth, not like my adult teeth. Like, I haven't got any adult teeth missing. But yeah, I just started crying. Um, and then I remember my mum drove me to somewhere. She took, drove me to the shop. Still crying. Fucking tears streaming down my face. Might have been fucking violated. Who knows? And then she buys me one of the most revolutionary things in my life. Black currant Ribena in a carton. Not in a bottle, but in a carton. That shit saves lives. I drank this 
all the pain that was in my mouth went and I was at one with the world and I was fucking fully peaceful and I felt great. And since that day, every single time I have a black currant in cotton, best drink ever. But that's my story about the first time I got a tooth out. If anyone else got any funny, interesting dentist stories or medical stories, let me know down there. Don't be like, I lost a penis when I was going to get my teeth checked out. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to leave a like. A subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're, if you're new to the channel, this is pretty much what you were going to expect. Life stories that no one really cares about, but you just watch anyway because it came up on your Twitter or your YouTube and you're like, oh fuck it, I'll give him a view because I feel sorry for him, so.